want to take your cinematography and drone flights to the next level, watch this video because I promise it's something you're not going to see every day. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here and we all love drones, I know that, but what you don't know is that I also love cinematography and FPV drones are truly pushing that envelope. What we have today, this is the Dolly Fly 16 and spoiler alert, this isn't your standard drone review because to take something from Joshua Bardwell, you really are going to learn something today and we're going to jump straight into it. Towards the end of this video, yes, we're going to do the flight characteristics, we're going to show you the full flights and breakdowns and everything like that. However, today we're gonna to jump in and we are going to show you some techniques to push your standard drone flights and get some shots that normally we don't see in FPV videos. And as a bit of a bonus, what is better than one of these? Well, that is two of these. So uh, I've got a second dolly fly right here to give away to you guys. Head over to DIY FPV. I'm gonna put all the descriptions and everything like that. So not only do you get to learn and practice this cool shot, someone is gonna to get to do that as well. So head over there. It's gonna be heading out to you guys. I can't wait, but let's dive in. The shot I am talking about, and I've seen it quite a lot. I've never known how to do it. I did a little bit of learning and we are hoping together we can pull it off today is like a distorted sort of effect. You will see it in Severance. It's a big one in Jaws when he realizes the sharks on the beach eating people. And it is where the subject is in focus and everything else sort of spins a little bit or zooms out or zooms in around them. And the reason this is different is because normally that's done on a dolly, which is basically a big moving tripod they put on rails. They can push the camera in and out and do a bit of zooming. Notice I've got my goggles on because I'm gonna show you how to do this really cool distortion effect. We've got our subject matter here. This is what we're gonna make the world spin around. This is Hot Rod from Transformers, uh, an absolute tragedy. He basically is the hero and then gets turned into a minivan. However, we've also got our camera right here, which in the past would be on a traditional dolly. Now, what we're going to try to do is as we are moving towards our subject matter, we're going to try to replicate this really, really cool distortion effect. And normally this is what happens. So let me just start recording right here so we can see. I've got our subject matter. Oh, the drone's going a little bit crazy. I've framed everything up. Let's put, let's put him in the center. All right. I can see him and what is going to happen is they would push the dolly, which is the camera in this case, along on the tracks in a steady movement. And there we go. There's Hot Rod, but as you can see, that video footage looks like this. Now, the problem with this footage is we're not getting any of that distortion effect because the character is growing with the rest of the frame as well. So our subject matter, it's getting larger. What we normally do as we do that, as the camera is moving closer, it is also zooming out. But how do we do that with our drone? Because our drone doesn't have the ability to zoom. It doesn't have a telescopic lens or anything like that. It is exactly what the DJI 04 has right here. So how do we do that with the dolly fly? And the answer, and I'm hoping to go and replicate this upstairs with some actual flying is, as we are moving towards our subject matter, we're gonna be filming in 4K, and then we can make the shot in 1080p. So as we are getting closer, we can use that difference in resolution to sort of simulate that effect. So basically a digital zoom on top of that, and we should get this result right here if that actually works. So thank you very much, editing. So with that technical explanation out of the way, let's try and go and recreate that with some actual flying, piloting the craft instead of me pushing around on the table like a four-year-old playing with toys. All right, now here's the plan. We're gonna fly down the hallway and then try to get that distortion effect. So let's put here, we really want some stable footage as well. So something that you can't be moving around too much. Otherwise the shot looks really wobbly and not great. All right, let's do it as a bit of a breakdown before I show you the flight footage because there's some things I don't actually like about the way that this handles, like dropouts and things like that. However, the craft itself, you notice it's extremely light. Let's throw it on the scales. It is coming, well, mine says 92 grams. I'm throwing in a 550 battery. 
It's coming in in it's coming in at 121 grams, so a pretty light little craft, especially considering it's carrying a DJI 04 Pro inside. You can see that's very well protected. You do have access to the USB. It's all kind of fairly straightforward, nice and easy. The actual interesting parts about this though is on the top right here, you have a dampened um, camera mount, so you're not gonna be getting any oscillations or wobbles or anything like that. That's really important because that's what this is designed for. This is not your everyday flying craft. There's a, a TPU battery mount, a TPU antenna connector on the back. Like, it's a pretty standard shape for drones nowadays, but it is not made for freestyling. It is not made for racing. It's not even made for flight times because you're about to see, I get some very, very short flight times with this. I'm running mine on like a 550 or a 530 milliamp hour 2S pack and I'm getting like two to four minutes depending on the sort of flying that I want to do. But let's go do that now. Let's try and get some other cool shots with this and just show you some general flying around and get some thoughts on the Sub 250 Dolly Fly. Now look, this is the flight. I was trying to do some more of those sort of vertigo effects and all those sorts of things, but this is not my normal video. And I can understand some people aren't gonna like that, but for me, I really like learning things and I wanna push the boundaries of what I do like creatively and also everything I can learn about drones and cinematography is a huge part of our hobby. And I've never tried that vertigo effect before. This isn't made for freestyle. This isn't made for racing. It'd be so easy to do the review and say, hey, here's how I went and did some flippy flops. This is what it was like. But I really tried to bring you guys along. We could learn something together, how to do that vertigo effect, maybe try to use it in some ways that filmmakers might use to get some cool, or interesting shots. I've still got a lot to practice and by no means I am an expert or anything like that. I just wanted to try something new. Wanted to try some different shots, went down a bit of rabbit hole of learning and that's where we are with the dolly fly. So look, let me know what you thought about this. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. You can see here it is just doing some normal flights. Like it's not fast, it's not made for freestyle or anything like that. It's like relatively short flight times. It's safe, I did like that. If you are going to be dropping out of like a big punch out or a dive or anything like that, you're gonna get some like air wobbles and oscillations. It's not made for anything like that. It really is made for trying to push the envelope of what you can do with little craft and get some cool shots. So hopefully you, uh, if you are gonna pick up one of these, that's, that's your intended aim anyway. Let's see if we can get this distorted effect one more time. Alrighty, what do you think? And I have to say for me, I kind of like this new way of thinking about drones. Like this is not made for FPV pilots who wanna go freestyling, wanna go racing or anything like that. This is made, like it is in the name, the Dolly Fly, like a flying tr camera platform. That's what this is for. I like the ducks on here because it's gonna mean it's gonna protect your shots and protect the subject matter, all those sorts of things. You're gonna get short flight times. It's gonna be wobbly if you're gonna do some crazy freestyle and that stuff outside. However, you can get some different things and you can do a bit of experimentation and get some really cool shots. If you're into cinematics, if you're into photography, if you are into film, and I've got no problem with a drone that wants to do that. It's a lot of fun. I don't know, what do you guys think? Hopefully you've learned something. I definitely have. That's the first time I've ever tried to recreate that sort of distortion effect when you're zooming in. Also, if you wanna win that other one, go check out the link on DIY FPV. It's gonna be down below. So that's gonna go out to one of you guys. And as always, happy flying.